Sup, everybody, and welcome to the Sword and Shield Berserker Reaver build with me, The Wired. Uh, this build is a great DPS but also defensive character who will keep your party alive and kill everything on the screen, which is always good, right? Uh, we're going to get right into it. This build will end at level 23. However, of course, if you get extra points from either maker side glitches or uh, just being a crazy fanatic and farming people cry constantly, then yes, just I will tell you where to put extra points as well. Okay, so we're only going to be using natural stats uh, from 1 to 23. The bonus stats will not be included in this build. However, I will tell you where to put them at the end of the game. And the end of the build, rather. Uh, so let's just start level by level. Uh, at level 2, your first level up, you're going to go to 16 strength. And at level 3, you're going to go to 19 strength. At level 4, you're going to go to 15 constitution. At level 5, you're going to go to 18 constitution. At level 6, you're going to get 2 willpower and 1 constitution. This takes care of the requirements to wear the blood dragon armor if you had uh, Dragon Age Origins 1 and pre-ordered it or whatever. Uh, at level 7, we're going to buff constitution 2 more points and uh, put strength up to 20. At level 8, we're going to go to 21 strength and uh, 21 constitution, which handles all requirements for the armor uh, in Act 1. At level 9, we're going to bump up to 24 strength. At level 10, we're going to bump up to 27 strength. And at level 11, we're going to bump up to 30 strength. And at level uh, 12, we're going to move up to 32 strength and uh, one constitution for 22. At level 13, which should be around the start of uh, Act 2, we're going to buff our constitution to 25, which takes care of all requirements uh, in Act 2 as far as armor is concerned. Uh, we're also going to buff at level 14, our strength to 35, and at level 16, right? No, 15. At level 15, we're going to buff our strength 3 more to 38. At level 16, we're going to buff up to 41. And at level 17, we're going to buff our constitution up to 28. At level 18, which is right around where I usually get to act 3, I think, somewhere around there. Uh, we're going to buff the uh, constitution to 31. That handles all armor requirements uh, in Act 3. So basically, you're free to put all the rest of your points into strength. So at 19, you can go to 44. At 20, 47. And once you reach this part of uh, pretty much having this high strength, along with equipment, you're going to have so much strength, you're not really going to have any issues with attack percentage. At this point, you can take points uh, and put them into willpower. Like getting willpower to 20, just a 20 base. So that would mean like uh, 21 is like 3 willpower to 18. 22 is 2 more to 20. Uh, and I put 1 to strength to even out at 48. And I also uh, put 3 more in strength at 23. So 51. Now as you see I have 21 extra points. You probably won't have this many. Uh, you do get 2 extra points at the start of the game just for using a maker side potion. So please keep in mind those 2 extra points are at your discretion wherever you want to put them. I suggest strength or willpower. Uh, either way, you're getting a damage boost pretty much the same from using either strength or willpower. Because Berserk works with willpower of course and strength is just a base damage boost. Uh, since I have all these extra points, I usually will just dump the whole thing into uh, strength. So end game strength is going to be extremely high. As you see, I don't even need the equipment to actually uh, max my attack percentage at this point. Okay, so let's move on to the abilities. Uh, this is where the sword and shield build really can be uh, one way or the other. You really have to make a decision. Uh, I do suggest you play the more defensive build that I'm going to be play telling you right now, but I will tell you what to change in the end game uh, to make you a more offensive character. That includes more or so in Act 3 when you're able to get items that give you immunity to things like flanking and critical hits. You can get that from gear, so you really won't need these abilities at some point. Uh, however, you should get the abilities I'm going to list. Uh, remember, please drink a Maker Side Potion at either level 7 through 10 to follow this build to the T. Uh, this only works when you actually do that. Okay, so first up, I'm going to show you the more uh, defensive build. This should be your early, early level build. And this will help keep you alive longer. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of abilities. Can be boring to play, uh, for sure. But you'll be mostly tanking at this point until you're able to get cleave and things like uh, claymore and barrage. Okay, so first up, we're going to save our first three talent points. But you really don't need to. Uh, shield defense is our first ability we're going to get. Then we're going to hop over right to the vanguard tree and pick up might and control. 
Uh, next up, with our level 4 talent point, remember this is respect at level 7, so remember that. These will all be open. If you're respecting extremely early at like level 2 or 3, some of these will be locked and you won't be able to follow this. So please remember level 7. Uh, level 4, we're going to get perception, so we're immune to flanking. And at level 5, we're going to go and get taunt. So like I said, pretty much early game, you'll be doing all the tanking. Uh, but you will be getting into a DPS groove soon. At level 6, we get the best berserker, the best warrior ability, rather, not berserker. Uh, cleave. Cleave is excellent. I don't have to tell you why it's good. If you don't know by now, then you should probably stop playing warrior right now. At level 7, we get to pick our first specialization. I guess you're going to know which one that is. Uh, we're going to get berserker. Uh, and also, with our first point... We are not going to get Berserk, no, because at this point we will not have enough mana, or stamina rather, to uh, pretty much sustain it very long. What I usually get is go get Destroyer. This will really, really help you deal more damage against characters. It's it's a lot of help, it really is. Uh, next up, that puts us at level 8. At level 8, use your next point to get finally Berserk. Whoop, there it is. And at level 9, make sure you get Barrage, the most important Berserker skill. By now, you're going to be attacking like a goddamn lightning at lightning speed because you're going to have both Haste uh, from Anders and Barrage going at the same time, which is a 100% attack speed increase. Uh, you can do some fairly impressive damage at this point. However, we're going to keep going with that. And at level 10, get the best uh, upgrade ability in the game, Claymore. Just an all-around ability. Gives you great cooldown time on your cleave only a five second cooldown also staggers which helps you know pretty much class cross class combo with your whole team okay so that puts us at level 10 uh, at level 10 you want to use your first bonus tome from act one which is from oh shit who is it from hubert's fine goods i'm doing this all from memory uh and you want to get adrenaline adrenaline is just a prerequisite you'll never use this ability it's fairly useless uh, yeah, it's one of the weaker abilities in the game. Uh, at level 11, you're going to get Endless Berserk. And at level 12, you're going to get Unrelenting Barrage. Which pretty much doubles the duration. Always good, obviously. At level 13, you're going to get Savage Berserk. And at level 14, you're going to get your second specialization. Which is the Reaver specialization. Boop. And, of course, Blood Frenzy. At level 15, we're going to go back to the this tree, and we're going to get Massacre. And at level 15, we're going to use our second tome from Islands Crafts in Act 2 to get Death Blow. This will help you immensely, especially when there's a lot of little enemies on the screen, like fodder enemies. These are guys with very low health bars. This will keep you at pretty much... Uh, full stamina the whole fight. Uh, at level 16, we're going to get Devour. Where is you? Where is you? There it is. Uh, at level 17, we're going to get Sacrificial Frenzy. And at level 18, we're going to get Aura of Pain. Now at this point, use your last tome from uh, the Black Emporium to get Fervor. Now this turns you into a demon on the battlefield. And I don't use that term lightly. You really do become some form of a demon on the battlefield. Once you get fervor too, you're going to be attacking so fast you can't follow yourself. Now as you can see, I have a lot of ability points and specialization points. That is a maker side glitch. Probably won't have that. Don't worry. I'm not going to be doing anything extra than I already have. Uh, at level 19, we're going to get bolster. Second wind at level 20. Uh, at level 21, we're going to get deep breath. Uh, at level 22, we're going to get last push, and at level 23, we're going to get deep reserves. Not immensely useful, but it's better than nothing. So this is pretty much the tank build. Uh, this focuses a little more on just using Berserk and staying alive. Uh, it doesn't really have any activated abilities outside of uh, just a bunch of sustained stuff or quick stuff that you just pop on. Uh, you can use Might with this build uh, pretty much the whole game. Uh, however, at some point during the end game, like when you get the nicer swords, it's not going to help as much. It will hinder more, so please turn that off. But until like the middle of Act 2, you should probably have Might on at all times. Okay, so that's pretty much the tank build. Now, once you get good equipment, you're not going to need any of these abilities. You're not going to need perception and stuff. At that point, I suggest, uh, suggest 
You respec again? You keep all of what you have here already, right? However, some things I would pull out don't get deep reserves. Uh, you can actually skip on... Uh, you can either skip on deep breath to uh, save another point. Another place you can skimp on is... Uh, no, not there. That's pretty much it. That's how you can skimp. So you can skip two to three points off other crap. Uh, get rid of perception. So that gives you an extra three points. What we would do is get shield bash. Uh, and you got to choose one of these. One of these is going to be your main damage ability. Uh, this will pretty much... They both combo with disorient. Not the best... Uh, yeah, not the best in general. The best way to combo with this is to pretty much not be playing on Nightmare, uh, for one. Or be controlling Varric a lot. Uh, and make him get... Shit, what is it? It's the one beyond Miasmic Flast. It's been so long! And they won't let me switch, so... Either way, it's the one that makes the smoke cloud. Uh, and causes everyone in the cloud to be disoriented. You can do some pretty sick damage. Uh, I prefer Scatter myself because it hits in an area of effect uh, assault also has a small area of effect but scatter hits way in like a way larger area of effect so just grab scatter and like it's upgrade uh, if you prefer assault don't get scatter in this and just get uh, assault and battery so that's pretty much it remember to uh, build your character around what equipment you want to buy remember money is limited guys please save your money just make sure you guys save your money because money is really really important in this game believe it or not uh, so I'm just gonna show you the end game equipment I have uh, this isn't actually end game equipment uh, this is a, a little earlier save than what would be end game uh, simply because my end game character was way higher level or something uh, but here's the items I like to use I just use the full uh, champions armor uh, obviously with a valiance rune in it these gloves right here, Sir Mara's Gauntlets, are really, really good. Uh, you can use those to uh, pretty much, before you get the Gauntlets of the Champion, or the full Gauntlet Champion set. Ugh, sorry. I'm like drunk or some shit. Uh, then yeah, you can definitely use those. Uh, here's my other stuff I use. Get over here. Uh, I use Urzara's, not Urzara's Tooth. Uh... Etch Ring of the Twins, obviously, uh, and also Ring of No Wishes. These both can be bought. Uh, this one gives you the immunity to critical I was talking about, and this one gives you the immunity to stun. Uh, this is obviously just the best fucking ring in the game, hands down. Pardon my French. It is godlike. It really is really good. Uh, I also use this, though, uh, but like I said before, you can buy the... Like, I have my money right now. I would go and buy that... Uh, necklace that gives me immunity to everything uh, flanking and, and stuff but this is a two-hander this character is built to be a two-hander so I don't actually use a sword and shield on him so uh, let's see what weapon what shield would I use that's a good question uh, my favorite shield is the shield of the night herself yes it's old uh, yeah it, it kind of it's kind of out of date but it still gives you the best buffs uh, in the game. These do have more armor and stuff. However, look at what this does. This gives you strength and 5% crit chance. That's going to be way better than anything else you have. So that's what I usually use. Uh, as far as your main weapon, uh, Glandivalis is probably your best bet. Uh, there's also the Vague Blade. This is a good weapon. But Glandivalis is pretty much uh, the top tier. This is also a top tier weapon. Uh, Bazrath Kata, not as much damage, but some nice little, like, bonuses. Uh, and that's pretty much it, guys. I can't tell you much more than that. That's optimal stats and also optimal weapon output. So, uh, let's just hop out of here and you can take a look at what an endgame character is going to look like. This is what your endgame character is going to look like. So, once again, guys, thank you. I hope this build... Uh, helps you dominate Nightmare or dominate any difficulty in general. Uh, thanks again for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'm sorry it took so long, but it's finally here. I hope it was worth the wait.